two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 I love you. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be really fucking cool because we're going to talk about the thing that you just read in the title, which is brainwash and manipulate yourself. And you're like, Larissa, what? Larissa, wh what do you mean brainwash and manipulate yourself? Well, you didn't read till the end because it says brainwash and manipulate yourself, but with affirmations. Ha huh? ha, huh? did I get you? So basically, I was thinking about what to title this video to kind of maybe capture attention. But, you know, we in this world get manipulated on a daily basis. We get brainwashed on a daily basis by TV, news, social media. Even other people, you know, like everything has such an impact on ourself that we don't even freaking realize. We, we're not really thinking about it. And that's the actual problem. You know, even music, you know, maybe the term manipulating and brainwashing is the wrong, are the wrong terms to use, but it's slightly brainwashing us like every day you know even if you think about certain songs with certain lyrics like certain lyrics or certain songs like just make you angry right away why because of the lyrics because of the message that it's sending you know you don't even have to be like heartbroken and you hear like a you know a song about you know somebody breaking your heart and how they're you know, they're fucking you over and it, it fucking enrages you so fucking fast. And that's not good. It's not good to put a lot of constant, um, not to say this constant, I wouldn't say information, but this constant energy of a certain energy shouldn't be put constantly around us, around our bubble and into our minds and into our thoughts because it infuses our brain. It infuses our thoughts all the time. You know, all the time. Like, first of all, obviously, it begins with us. What we say to ourselves, like, you know, out loud or in our mind, you know. And then, obviously, the people that surround us or the things that we read. And everything is slide manipulation and slide brainwashing you know because they say like depending on who for example surrounds you they're gonna have a huge impact on you you know the things you read the news article that you read you know if you follow just you know mainstream media or mainstream news outlets or just read like social media posts about what is going on in the world you know it's going to give you anxiety. It's going to make you so freaking anxious. And it's going to make you overthink in instantly. Like it's going to send you into a overdrive instantly, you know. And that's not a great way to live your life. Being impacted by so many sources, by so many things that don't even serve your highest purpose. You know, like I said. You know, everything that you listen to or read about are like slight sublimations, like slight infusions that you infuse your mind, your soul, your aura, like everything around you just turns into the color of what you're infusing yourself with. So why not just brainwash yourself and manipulate yourself but with affirmations affirmations are a really strong tool to use to tune yourself into the energy that you want to be in or the energy that you want to feel or the feelings that you want to you know embrace and basically infuse your mind with as i've been saying all along you know 
if we constantly repeat something, like I said, it could be a song, it could be a story that we listen to by a person every single day, or it could be something that we read constantly, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna spark something instantly. It could be fear, it could be worry, it could be anger. And why not be more conscious about what do we put into our minds and what we put into our aura like we should be more aware we should like you know basically put walls around us and be more mindful about what we let through those walls you know i'm not saying concrete walls where you don't put anything or anyone through it like you don't like overthink it or don't overdo it you know obviously sometimes it's nice to just listen to silly songs or some you know some silly things or you know maybe nice to read some just some things sometimes that doesn't have to be really deep and whatever and that's completely fine but doing it like constantly is not good at all so like i said affirmations and using affirmations to tune your inner clock to something that you want or something that you want to experience more of is what we want that's the energy that's the that's the essence that we need and want so if you've been you know wanting to get into a certain mindset or you've been wanting to you know maybe change habits or I don't know let go of things or whatever it is you can do it you know in our brains neural pathways form all the time like new ones you know a lot of times we feel like oh we're stuck with these habits and we're stuck with these thoughts and oh my god I will never be able to feel better but you can you just have to do that constant work and constant repetition because that's how good like nice fucking habits are formed even bad ones but like you know everything that is done in repetition like i said can be used in so many ways besides you know forming habits or forming a new i don't know workout schedule or you know bettering your sleeping schedule or anything else anything that is constantly repeated something especially if it's something really positive or something good it's gonna become a part of you it's gonna basically almost like erase the neural pathway of something that was there before so for example if you before were repeating I don't know, for example, you were saying to yourself constantly, I will never make it in life. I suck. Nobody loves me. And you know, when you're constantly repeating that, your brain is like, okay, well, she's repeating it constantly. So it has to be true. You know, your brain will believe what you feed it. You know, what you constantly feed it. So if you keep repeating constantly that you will not get this or you're unlucky your brain is going to be like okay well let's make more of that and the universe is going to be like well bitch is repeating that constantly so well i'm giving you more of that you know and obviously your brain is also not going to push you towards the things that you want to change if you constantly repeat like a different story it it doesn't match up and the universe gets confused you know you're trying to tell yourself like and you don't even believe it you have to start almost like becoming one with the affirmations that you try to implement you know you cannot deep down believe that you are a loser and you're repeating to yourself i'm not a loser i'm a a winner but to yourself you think oh fuck this this is also that's not gonna work if you really want to freaking change your situation and your life and you actually want to take the fucking scepter in your own hands and brainwash yourself the way you want to not the way the news outlines want to or anybody like fear-mongering or people that don't support you or like just negative people surrounding you and you don't want to be infused with that energy constantly but 
better just with what you want, then you can do it. You can start changing your reality and your thought patterns and, you know, erasing old beliefs. You can do that. And affirmations are a good way to start. And if you're like, okay, I don't, I, I where do I find these affirmations? I, I, I cannot come up with good affirmations. I will always tell you to either go on YouTube or Pinterest. Pinterest is a sea of affirmations. You can go into like Pinterest and create your own uh, like pin folder, or you just download them turn them into a vision board and repeat them every single day. But you have to be consistent. You cannot just repeat like like once and think that your life is going to drastically change because again, repetition is key. That's the point. Through repetition is what change, you know, gets its form from. Not just thin air. You know, you do an absolute gotcha nothing. No. You have to be consistent. Make it into your like daily habit. Continuously go for it and do it. And, you know, basically, like I said, embrace it. Make it you. Make it something that you would believe in or something that you want to affirm. You know, don't just go onto YouTube searching for random shit. No, like, what do you want? What do you want to change? Like, what habits do you want to change? What do you want to manifest into your life? What does it make it you? Like, don't just take random shit from people's vision boards that you just think it's cute or what. No, like, it has to make sense. It has to make sense. But in the end, like, surround yourself with stuff that is nurturing you and your mind in your soul don't just like not have a filter but talking about affirmations you can also go onto youtube and find like videos that are hours and hours long you know where they repeat certain affirmations that you take in through your sleep which is a really um how to say this you're really susceptive You're really like a sponge that is like taking it in. Like I said, you're generally like a sponge taking it in when you're just, you know, living your life and you're actually conscious. But through your sleep, you also take it in while you sleep. Believe it or not. You're like, I I don't hear it. I'm just like dreaming my own shit. No, but you do. You do. And there's so many things that you can listen to while you're like either falling asleep or you're sleeping. You know, if you want to like boost your manifestations or anything like that, it's just a really freaking great way. Like take the power back and be more mindful of what you let into your circle of your own energy. You know, don't just, you know, soak in everything. And like, because in the end, they always say everything in like, proportions you know it's it's okay to just listen to some rap sometimes and just chill to some funny songs or sometimes read certain things that are like i said are not that meaningful but in small portions and just you know bite-sized pieces i guess you know just be more aware of things of what you consume on a daily basis But in the end, if you really, really want to make the change and you really, really, really want to work on yourself, affirmations will do freaking wonders. So I hope this helped in some shape or form, even though I kind of went on a tangent. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. One, two, three. Fuck it. My darling, I love you.